Ever wished your Black Ops 6 gameplay looked way sharper and smoother on Xbox? I'm about to show you the settings that not only deliver way sharper graphics, but also boost your FPS big time. Using the right combination of graphics settings on your Xbox console, not only will improve your visual experience, but it will also help you get victories much more easily. Once you're in the game, press the little button with three lines on it, the start button I still call it, even though it's not called that these days, and head over to this little cog wheel and go to graphics. First things first, 120 hertz refresh rate. You must ensure that is switched on. That will give you the edge over people who are playing on the cloud or on 60 hertz monitors. You will be way, way more responsive as you'll see things way smoother than anyone else. Make sure this is turned on. You need to have a monitor which or a TV which supports this. So it needs to be a high refresh rate monitor, a TV. Make sure you have that. Usually it's an HDMI 2.1 TV you need for this. And also, depending on whether you're on Series S or Series X, this might only be available at certain resolutions. So the Series S, for example, might only be able to do 120 frames per second at 1080p, so make sure you keep that in mind. Next up is gamma and brightness, and I would recommend you just ignore this, just pass it by, unless you want to tweak the brightness settings. This may help you in something like zombies if you're taking it really seriously, as zombies can be quite dark. If you up the brightness, it will help you see some of those bad guys lurking in the shadows. But what we are interested in is sustainability, this part here. Surprisingly, this is actually quite important. We have this eco mode preset, <coughs> excuse me. You can see there for me, it's set to efficiency. And what is this all about? Well, you can limit your device's energy consumption at the cost of VSync and other performance tweaks. So you want to keep this off all the time to generate the maximum frames possible. So it's trying to be more efficient, use less energy, but that impacts your performance. It means it's not going to be as powerful a machine because it's holding back to save some energy. So you want to click on this and you want to have this off, off all the time. This will help make a difference in your gameplay. Then we go over to the next tab, which is quality and post-processing effect. You see here, we have world motion blur and it is currently set to off. You want this to be set to off 100% because motion blur can be super distracting during fights and it also stops you from, you know, maybe spotting enemies in the distance. And especially when, you know, you're sprinting, everything is just like a blurry mess. Just keep this off. You do not want this on. I advise you keep this off big time. Same goes for weapon motion blur. It's just the same thing, but on the weapon, it's split out for some reason. So keep that off also. Then the next one we have is the depth of field. And this one is currently turned on by default. Well, on my game, it's turned on by default, but you actually want to turn this off because when this option is turned on, it adds blur to out of focus regions of the game we don't want that so we want everything to be super sharp and we want to see everything so turn that one off just like that and next we have a really really uh, cool one here as well which is fidelity fx cas which is is turned off by default i don't know why we have these powerful consoles with all these features and then it's turned off. So what's this all about? This enhances the sharpness of scene rendering using AMD's Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening. That's what CAS stands for. If you're wondering what this is, it's an image sharpening algorithm that improves visual quality by sharpening images and using optional upscaling. So you want to turn this on, heck yeah. Why would you have this off? I don't know. But then you've got the strength. So how powerful will the upscaling be? I recommend you put this to 100. Just maximize it right the way up. You want the sharpest possible image. So you can see bad guys moving in the distance in the long grass and in the trees and stuff like that. So you could take your shot and take them out and get the dub. 
perfect. Next, we have got details and textures on demand texture streaming. So what is this all about? This is a weird one. I've only really ever noticed Call of Duty doing this. Maybe other games do. If you know this, let me know in the comments. But I have I first noticed this in Warzone. And what this is, this is a really important graphic setting as in the game, this is them downloading the textures from the internet that you need to play the game while you're playing the game. So it's really random because it's downloading all these textures and colors and stuff as you're playing, which you wouldn't think would be a good idea, but especially in multiplayer, but that is what they do. So if you're on a paid data plan, a mobile hotspot, uh, you don't have unlimited internet, you know, and you, or your internet speed is an issue, you have a slow network connection, I recommend setting this one to minimal, which you can see here, just to prevent issues which may arise like high ping as you're downloading all these files and information from the internet. You don't want that because, you know, that's not good for getting the dub. You, you will just get smoked if you've got high ping. But if you've got good broadband internet, unlimited data plan, keep it on optimized. Next up is view, but before we jump into this one, make sure you leave a comment down below leaving any hints or tips you have or what your preferences are, as it may help out your fellow Xbox gamer. Now, we have a whole bunch here on this list, and you can see the top one here, we've got motion reduction preset. I recommend you keep that off just as it is. Um, then skip by this next one as well, arachnophobia mode. Then we have got field of view. This is an important one. It's currently at 90 and you can see in the little demonstration image just next to me there, with the 90, you see in between the 80 and the 100 there. Why not see way more of the screen? You'll see way more of the bad guys. So click on into this one and fire this one up to 120. So you can see the most amount of the landscape in front of you and you've got a better chance of seeing bad guys that are about to enter your, your field of view so you can take them out. Next up, we have got ADS field of view, which is set to affected. You know, if it's set to independent, ADS zooms the field of view in to its usual value, which can, can crop the environment. So I recommend you keep it at affected. Next up, we've got weapon field of view. It's set to default. We can see here it says the weapon looks as intended. Now, I reckon you should go for wide so the weapon looks smaller. So that means you will see more of what's going on in front of you and a better chance of taking out the bad guys. Next, we've got third person field of view, which, I mean, it's maxed out as well. I reckon you should leave it at that. Then we have got vehicle field of view, which is set to default. I would also keep it at default. Now under camera, we've got first person camera movement. Default is 100%. I reckon you should put this to at least, which is 50%. And then we have got one or two more. I would leave these as they are, apart from this one here, where it says inverted flashbang. This one is quite interesting because in particular, if you have photosensitivity issues, you can put this on so it's basically a black flashbang which happens instead of the super bright white flashbang you have. And I'll personally just leave that off because I think it's quite cool The Stun Granada! Now all of these settings combined will make a huge difference to how Black Ops 6 runs and feels on your Xbox and it will help you get way more wins just like this special modded controller which you can check out on this video on screen right now, which will help you get even more wins. Or if you want to learn how to enable 120 frames per second mode on your Xbox, check out this tutorial on screen right now, which will show you step by step what you need to do.